Hi, this is Jody from mcpactions.com. Today I'm going to give a quick tutorial on cropping and I'm also going to teach you a neat cropping trick. So, we're going to go ahead and open up our photo. And this is a photo of my daughter Ellie and she is taking a picture of me. And today I'm going to go show you how to use the crop tool pretty quickly. This is the crop tool. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and enter your width and height in inches or pixels. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and enter 8 by 8 inches. I'm going to crop this into a square. And you can do any shape, of course. And your resolution. So I'm going to have this at 300 resolution. And you can do it in pixels per inch or centimeters. I'm going to keep it in inches. And all we're going to do is drag this across the photo. Now, typically, I believe the default in Photoshop is that you can see some of your background, which is nice for being able to move things around. However, a lot of times, and the reason Lightroom was developed the way it is, is a lot of times having black and being able to see your picture against black really shows you its true colors and its true look and what it will look like. So we're going to go ahead and reproduce that same effect here. Where it says color, you can actually click on this box, and this is the trick a lot of people don't really know you can change this. We're going to go ahead and click on black. I'm actually going to name it 000 so it's pure black with the R, G, and B. And I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to change this opacity right here up to 100%. And when I do that and I slide it around, I get a true accurate representation of exactly what my crop will be. So I can come in here and see exactly what would be missing by sliding it around. I can also grab the handles and crop in further if I like. And once I'm done cropping it exactly how I want, I'm going to go ahead up here and there's a check mark and I'm going to click the check mark. And you'll see, all done. It's cropped exactly how you pictured. Hope that helped you out. This is Jody from mcpactions.com. Please continue to visit my website and blog for more Photoshop tips and tutorials. Thank you.